expected to happen was that um, uh, Rob's support would decline faster than in fact it had. It, it is. And um, we, uh, we didn't expect to see uh, coordination uh, continue so strong. And indeed what has happened is that the election has become a, um, a referendum on, uh, on Rob Ford. Uh, what we found in knocking on doors is that people said, you're the best, you're the greatest ideas, uh, your programs are costed, etc., 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 but we've got to have Rob out of there. And those, those votes went uh, instead of um, uh, to Olivia or to ideas like myself. Uh, people figured that Rob was winning, sorry, that uh, John was winning, that he was a safe set of hands, and uh, my analysis of it uh, is that uh, they have gone there and continue to go there. If you ask why we left when we did, uh, the last set of um, polls that came out uh, just just today, uh, we had an inkling um, a couple of days ago that they were going to give us a, uh, a minor bump, but we recognized that support indeed was going directly to John uh, as that safe pair of hands. And um, I stepped into the race uh, to make sure that there was a difference. I didn't want to uh, dilute the result on election day, so therefore I decided that I wanted to withdraw prior to the uh, 12th, uh, which is the last day for um, our removal of my name. So once the results came, uh, we used the opportunity of my uh, birthday party and out of uh, respect for all of those who volunteered on my campaign, I, um, I decided to um, uh, do it on my, uh, announce on my birthday. Uh, my future, um, don't know, I don't know what I'm having for lunch tomorrow. Um, I know that I will not be standing for a position, uh, a seat on, uh, on council as a councillor. Um, having spent all of my elected life in the municipal um, arena, I can't tell you how important it is, I think, for myself and for our political life to have people work together across party divides uh, for, for common goals. I do not have an interest in standing for a partisan uh, political office, and I know that precludes um, uh, the federal and provincial levels, although I've got, I've got friends on that vote. That essentially summarizes uh, a lot of what I have to say. I do want to make my, uh, my last comments. Uh, my last comment on a little bit, uh, a short comment on, on uh, a little bit of the history of the campaign. Um, the first uh, existential meeting, if you will, that, that Brian and uh, the core team had came in July. And uh, we took a look at the numbers then and said, what are we going to do? And the comments that came from Brian at that time is that we both sat on campaigns that were um, losing campaigns. Our campaign did not feel that way, and indeed until yesterday was not that way. We had increasing number of volunteers, and uh, their, their strength, their motivation, and their belief was what kept me going throughout. So what we decided to do in July, and then in August, and then finally at the end of August, is say, one more, once more, once more for the volunteers, and that's what kept me going uh, more than anything else. And I'm proud of what they accomplished, proud of what we've done as a team, and I wanted to thank them. The last, last comment I want to make is with respect to uh, the media here, uh, and I want to say it quite publicly, that I have found that the media has given me a fair shake, uh, that, genu that generally if you deal with people as decent human beings, they deal with you as a decent human being. I have uh, no doubt that what you're reporting out is fair. Um, and that uh, while um, my team and I might despair uh, sometimes of, of the fact that a magician or somebody with tattoos gets preference over policy, uh, I recognize that uh, you're responding to your editors and uh, the need for, uh, uh, for selling space to, to the public. So I can't, can't fault you on that, but uh, thank you for your interest in the ideas and uh, thank you for your participation in the public as well. Where do you think your votes will go? I don't know. I'm going to leave that to the political scientists. Um, I know that I did my best. I don't come to it as a political scientist and I let, uh, I let 
I let you and the analysts uh, figure out where they're going to go. But you're freeing your supporters to go wherever they want. Uh, you assume I ever I had any control over them at any time. Um, I'll tell you that uh, of my team, I've met very, very few of them before the 1st of, of January. Um, they came to me because of the ideas and because they thought it was a uh, fun, small, flexible campaign. And I think it would be uh, both, um, uh, I think it would just be plain wrong from so many areas and just inaccurate to think that I could say, go to candidate A or B. Uh, because they, they're, they're across so many areas, they can't believe my hands are going to flex, but they're across so many areas and so many interests that they will go, uh, I think, across uh, across the range. I don't know how many will go to, uh, to Rob, but I expect a number will go to uh, John, uh, to Olivia, and perhaps to uh, Aaron Goldman. Why do you think this has become a referendum on uh, I believe that he has traumatized our city. Uh, I believe that he has been a, um, a divisive force. And uh, out on, on the doorsteps, issue one is transit, issue two is anybody but Ford. And when I have had, um, when I have I've spoken to members of Ford Nation, um, they believe, and they believe very strongly. And so it's a, it's a, um, it's, it's, uh, he's a gentleman of, um, of divisiveness, and so that's why I think it's become a, uh, a referendum. On. David, David, are you, you open to uh, working in City Hall in the future, whether it's for the incoming mayor? I even saw your name mentioned for the city manager position on Twitter yesterday. Well, th thank you for city manager, but uh, it's, it's a position of, of professional. Um, I have uh, expressed uh, both uh, in, uh, to, uh, to John and to uh, Olivia that um, you know, I'm not moving anywhere, and uh, I think uh, if they can, if my services would be of any use, I would be uh, happy to consider. Uh, but I'm not uh, actively uh, chasing uh, a position. Uh, I also understand that the commissionership of the uh, football league is open, and I'm not chasing that. You mentioned in your campaign a uh, waterfront for a transportation czar. Would you like to be in the United No, because no, because I'm not interested in the staff position. Um, I, we have at the city uh, a lot of good professional staff, and uh, I'll let them do, of course, with, with their best. I, I'm not interested in the paid staff position. I, what about like chair of Waterfront Toronto? I, again, I, I think it's just I think it's just premature to have any of those discussions right now. Are there are people who say that you might be just as happy running your business, traveling around the world on business? And that's that's correct, I, and I wish I did make that. But yes, the, the first part is I, I I love my I love my work, um, and uh, yet I, I love their. I, I want to say that there is there is no job uh, like the job of public service. Uh, as a counselor, and I know there's only a few days left. I encourage people to put in their hundred dollars and um, and run for a counselor a counselor's job because uh, there is it's just an incredible feeling of satisfaction. David, you're leaving your ideas and your platform up. If there's one idea that you would be okay with, you know, the, the front pack, scalping for you and running with it and, and following through on, what would that one idea be? Well, there's there, there's a number of them there, but I take a look at the big issues because unless you deal with the big issues, you can't deal with the small issues. And it is, uh, you know, it's, it's a review of the police budget. I, I think would be um, uh, critical because it leads to so many other reviews. It would then lead to a review of emergency services and water and wastewater because unless we manage those big budgets, we can't manage the small budgets. And unless we manage all of those budgets, we can't continue to invest in the city that we want. And it's starting like a stump speech, and I promised myself not to give a stump speech. David, 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 David. Transit, are you satisfied uh, with everything that's been put forward in terms of ideas and uh, how some of these plans will be, will oh, be no, financed I, listen, by Challenge Listen, the, 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 the good news or the bad news, depending on your point of view, is that we had a whole bunch of other things on teed up, right? We wanted to do something on libraries. We had all sorts of ideas on libraries. We wanted to do arts policy. You mentioned transit. We had three policy papers on that. I think that's more than enough. But we had a whole bunch of other ideas to come forward. But time is what it is. David, your, your platform has been that uh, is the most detailed, you know, the most carefully thought out. Does your, what do you think it says that the level of support that, that you've got, do you think that, that means that voters aren't looking for this kind of detailed, rational policy? Well, you know, Ben, I, I also take a look at myself in a mirror and say, I recognize um, that 
I feel satisfied that it would ha it, it has potential for transforming our city. I also recognize that people need different things as well in, in the person that they elect. Um, I don't plan on setting my hair on fire, I never did, but uh, I think that um, uh, uh, something more in the extroverted area perhaps, right? Um, there might be other areas as well. We spoke about money, we spoke about organization. So it's not just policy is what I've come to recognize. Um, and it needs to be the entire package. So you're, 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 you're there, 2018. Perhaps, sorry? So you're perhaps an imperfect vessel for, for what you're I'm, Ben, I'm sorry, I haven't talked to you. You're an imperfect vessel for... Oh, for yeah, I, 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 I guarantee you I'm imperfect. I mean, I just read the star, right? I mean, I drive with the... Uh, there's all sorts of things I do wrong with. Is it there... wrong timing? I mean, are you maybe the right guy at the wrong time up against these three powerful names that, that were really tough to break through those names in that noise? And I, I, will, I will say that um, one of the huge challenges we recognized from the beginning is that our path depended not upon um, one person stumbling, but three people stumbling. And um, it, uh, it, it's different from uh, uh, something like um, uh, Mayor Nenshi or uh, Mayor Miller, uh, where it was just one or two um, uh, candidates that uh, uh, were flawed. Uh, but uh, I, re I recognize in retrospect that um, it was a tall order. That doesn't mean I wouldn't have done it again, knowing where I, I'm standing right here and now. Uh, because uh, I'm so proud of what our team did and the ideas we brought forward. I believe we raised the level of the debate and um, what we've done is shown those who want to listen that we can make a change ourselves. Does it try again in four years? Um, that's a long way away. I think I think I need to wait for the bruises to sort of go down a little bit, and then we'll, then we'll take a look. But right now, it's not in it's not in my active plan. David, what would you having, do having spent a few, like a number of months on the campaign trail, can an election in Toronto be one purely playing in the arena of ideas? Uh, well, that's what I tried to say. I think I think it's more than that. It's much more than that. Um, and it's just like some people have said to me. Uh, but what about pure ideas? And he says, no, you need to, you need to have uh, everything from uh, you know uh, the demeanor to the ability to work um, crowds. You need the two million dollars because unless you have the two million dollars, you're not there. David, people when you, when always say they're constantly saying we want someone with with ideas. We want someone who's not going to be sort of a divisive force, as you mentioned. People say that, but given your experience now, do you actually believe that that's what but people they, want? They, they, they want more than that. I think. Uh, and I think that that's up to you to determine who they select on uh, October 27th, I mean, in terms of the media. Because right now, um, you know, we're having uh, John and Olivia both have some ideas. Um, and um, they're clearly the ones that have the, uh, uh, the large amounts of infantry and resources and, uh, and cash behind them. David, when you look John at the Rob Curry, Ford sorry. dilemma, if you will, how he remains, to how he continues to retain support in this city, when you look at everything that's been documented about this guy in the last four years, what does your campaign say when you kind of examine that why question behind him? Given what everyone knows about this guy, how does he continue to have the support of? Well, thank you for that question. I, that I want to um, uh, post that one back on uh, on the media, if I might, because I've always taken the position that the media has done a good job of presenting Rob Ford the person. And people will decide their um, uh, their opinions based on the personal and personal characteristics. What I believe it's for us to do as as candidates is to point out Rob Ford the politician and Rob Ford the mayor. And what I've tried to do, uh, not through squeamishness, but in fact as as the only way I think to affect change is when speaking about Rob Ford, is pointing out that he didn't save the billion dollars, that the sufficiencies weren't great, that there was a strike, and, 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 the list goes on. And so I think that people are aware of um, both sides of, of the mayor's both personality and inability as a mayor, and will make their decisions accordingly. About two more questions, folks, and then I'm going to head on. Is there a candidate? Tory make a better mayor than Rob Ford? Anybody. Um, <laughs> I, I had a cat. I would make a better <laughs>
Yeah. Is there anyone you <laughs> would that support me? as a voter? Uh, yeah, yeah, that includes you as well, but that's not a Thank question. you. As a voter in the city <laughs> of Toronto, of the remaining <laughs> candidates, is there someone who appeals to you as a voter? You know, I'm I'm not going to, to answer that question because then we start going close into endorsement. Uh, I'll take another question if you don't mind because uh, I don't want to, to go there. There are a number of candidates who've given them their all to do that. $300,000 is a whole whack of dough to it is. sink down this campaign. It is. Are you content with spending that money? Uh, did, I, did I like spending that much right. money? Um, no. Uh, uh, sorry, I didn't hear that, Paul, but I'm going to move on. Uh, but, buyer's but, remorse. But no, no, absolutely. Thank you very much. There is no buyer's remorse because uh, without that, uh, we wouldn't have raised the issues. We wouldn't have been able to bring forward the team. We wouldn't be able to have this debate, and it's not because all of the media here. It's because we're able to say, hey, look, look at police, look at transit, look at our parks program, look at our community plan, look at our housing, look at our homelessness program. All of these things would have not been out in the public sphere. And instead, I fear we would have had a pure uh, uh, contest among personalities. And if that's the price that somebody has to pay, uh, well, indeed, it's the price that somebody has to pay. Okay, now I promise to fist bump here, and we're done. Thank you very much, everybody. Take care. Thank you very much, David.